Here we are, the final day of our dumbbell 12 week program. And what better way to end than in the basement gym? In our parents' basement. Yeah, it's where we started, it's where we're ending. And it's probably where we'll end in life. <laughs> probably, we're gonna be buried in this gym. <laughs> exactly, this is our tomb. <laughs> So we're gonna be hitting it, it's gonna be shoulders and traps. We're gonna get a killer workout and hope you can join us. And of course, if you want the plan, the link is in description, but no more talking, let's do this. <sighs> the first exercise, and it is a good one, is gonna be the hang clean press. But since we are in the basement gym, we don't have a lot of vertical room and this is a very vertical exercise um, because essentially what you're doing is you're pushing and driving uh, with your legs and hips and shrugging at the same time to carry the weight up into the clean position and then you're pressing the weight up from there. Um, since the ceiling's so short, we're gonna do a little bit of a modification to this exercise. Now, this isn't really ideal um, because obviously it's kind of taking out half the movement, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and you're still getting a lot of benefits from the shoulders. What we're gonna be doing is kind of pushing our hips back, flexing the hips, and then we're gonna be extending the hips, shrugging, catching the weight, and then pressing it up from there. So it's kind of cutting out the, uh, pretty much the lower half there with the knee extension and flexion, also the plantar flexion in your feet as well, but it'll still be good for the shoulders, so let's do it. We're taking a little bit lighter too, because we're cutting movement basically in half, so take a little bit lighter, feel it out, um, and then go from there. But hopefully you'll have a setup where you can do the full movement, you don't have to worry about putting a hole in your ceiling there. But damn, I still feel good though, hell yeah. Earlier in the program, we did have a chance to perform this exercise in an ideal setting. And you can see the footage here, so you can kind of see the difference and see how it's, it's truly meant to be performed. But as Brandon said, sometimes you don't have the ideal settings, but don't let that get you down because with a few little modifications, you can still get a very intense workout. <sighs> Okay, I just gotta say that I'm not a big fan of having an audience, and this little fucker's creeping me out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On to the Scott Press. Now, we covered this a couple times in the past in this program, and it's just a really good movement. Now, what basically differentiates this between a standard press. This one's more of uh, elevation of your scapula there. So you're essentially holding the dumbbells in place with palms facing each other more in a neutral kind of grip, elbows pointing forward. And what you're gonna be doing is uh, rotating out, kind of pulling the scapula together, retracting the scapula. And as you're doing that at the same time, you're elevating your scapula, and as you can see, the distance between your upper and lower arm doesn't really change a lot. So of course in a press, it has a lot to do with the extension of your elbows in this. You're not having a lot of extension in there, so pretty much it's the retraction and elevation of your scapula there. But then once it's done in a fluid motion, it's gonna look like this. So kind of have your thumbs pointing you, and then as you come down here, you're gonna be, basically this is the end position with the thumbs kind of pointing towards your traps there, and then you're gonna bring it back down to the beginning position. So we're gonna watch in motion with some weight, so here, just like so, nice and slow, controlled. Kind of bring all the way, you can even squeeze the chest together a little bit. And then rotate and elevate. Rotate and elevate. It's kind of that time under tension there. You really start to feel not only the shoulders burn, but the traps really activate. Oh yeah, the whole idea behind this exercise is trying to take the triceps out of the equation because Larry Scott had huge arms, shoulders were lacking, so they kind of came up with this motion to try to take the triceps out of it so that way it would make sure his triceps didn't continue to get bigger because I guess apparently on his normal presses, his triceps were so strong they would want to take over the movement. So this is going to help isolate the shoulders and the traps and definitely feels like it does under the windmill press. And this is another exercise that we're gonna have to modify due to the low ceilings. Uh, obviously a windmill press is you're gonna be on your feet, very wide stance, you're gonna be pressing the weight up and then you're gonna be laterally flexing in your spine and kind of gliding your hand down your leg as far as you can go to feel a nice stretch in um, your oblique and keep that dumbbell center line and then bring yourself back up to the top position 
and then um, rep it out from there. But we're gonna have to do kneeling. So pretty much the same thing. You're gonna get a decently wide stance, but of course now being placed on your knees. And the motion is pretty much the same, although the range of motion might be a little bit shorter depending on your flexibility. So you're going to be pressing up first, and then you're gonna be taking this arm, and you're gonna be bringing it down to the floor. Um, you can try to meet your fist to the floor, your palm to the floor, but we're just kind of touching our fingertips to the floor, kind of feeling that nice stretch and this oblique, making sure this dumbbell is center line um, to your legs there. So that way it feels nice and sturdy and then bring it back down and then you're gonna go again. So, oh yeah, a very shoulder and also core intensive exercise. And this one feels good. Oh, that starts to burn real quick. Now, of course your core is to help stabilize your spine to make sure it's in that upright position. So once you kind of put it in a compromised position, you're really gonna feel it activate and also pulling it back to that center line position. So a lot of core activation. Of course, the shoulder not only is pressing, but also it's holding this position and stabilizing this motion. So the shoulder is doing quite a bit of work as well. Now we're on to uh, three different isolation exercises paired up. A triset, which is gonna be front raises, supersetted with lateral raises, supersetted with uh, bent over reverse flies. You know, we're really trying to pinpoint um, starting out the anterior deltoid with the front raises, lateral raises, trying to really focus and pinpoint the lateral um, deltoid, and then moving on to the posterior deltoid with the bent over reverse flies here. And of course, with the front raises, just working in flexion um, of the shoulder here, so we're really trying, you can do it a couple different ways. You can do palms facing down. You can rotate where your thumbs are kind of facing up, kind of depending on how your shoulders feel. Uh, and then of course, after 10 reps of that, immediately going on to the lateral raise, which we're just uh, abducting the arms away from the body. That's really going to put some focus on the lateral head there. And then bent over, we're going to be, you know, pulling back, retracting the scapula. And that's gonna be focusing on the rear deltoid. So this one, is no joke. You really feel it after those 30 reps. pointing and focusing on a certain muscle group when you're feeling it burn in that specific muscle. And that's when you know you're doing it right. Whew. With isolations, you never take them really that heavy. You wanna make sure you have that really strict form, you know, and really trying to focus on the muscle you're trying to pinpoint work. And yeah, this will get those shoulders pumped. So the hard part is pretty much over with. Just got done with that tricep. Damn, shoulders are burning like crazy. And thankfully, we're gonna give the deltoids a rest because we're moving on to the trapezius with some shrugs. Very easy movement. Uh, what you're working on is shoulder um, or scapula elevation. So really just pulling the shoulders up as high as you can. You know, we always say try to imagine like you're pulling your shoulders into your ear. Um, now, we don't have really heavy dumbbells. With this movement, typically you can go really heavy with it because it's a shorter range of motion. The trapezius muscles are pretty damn big. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is working on a nice slow tempo, tempo, and once we reach the top position, we're really gonna hold that, squeeze, and then slowly let it down to the bottom position. So we're really working in those three muscle actions of concentric, bring it up, we're gonna have a hold and isometric, and then bring it back down for the eccentric action there. And that's really gonna help burn those trapezius muscles and make them work hard. Oh yeah. You know that old wives tale or your moms maybe tell you if you make a face they say hey they're careful if you make that face for too long face is going to stay like that good thing muscles aren't like that because in this exercise when you get that hold if uh, you hold your muscles for too long they stay like that this might be an awkward kind of position to be in the rest of your life what's up bro want to work traps today i worked them yesterday day before that day before that and the day before that but I think they need a little extra work. <laughs> Last exercise, it's gonna be, of course, the abs um, or core. I mean, it kind of depends on the day. In this particular case, we're focusing on the abdominals with 
the weighted crunches. Very easy movement, very well known movement as well. We're gonna be adding some weight to it just because this is the last phase, the last stage, it's the last everything. I mean, last workout. So, we're really trying to push everything hard and uh, get a lot of activation in there. So, uh, essentially, what you wanna do is lay on the floor. Ugh. Once you're in this position, you can kind of hold any kind of dumbbell you want as far as weight goes, um, or you can do it without weight, depending on your strength or how you feel, and uh, just kind of hold it right below your chin, and essentially just working on spinal flexion, very short movement. You're just picking your shoulders or upper back up off the floor, squeezing, and then lower back down to the bottom position. Now, just because you go far in the range of motion doesn't mean it's gonna get more activation in there, so what you really wanna do is push the lower back into the floor, squeeze the abdominals, and bring it back down. Deep breath, exhale, squeeze, and then back down, and immediately you'll feel it working quite a bit. Oh yeah, these are the back farters, right? Oh yeah. Wow. Those will get your abs real quick. That is the final exercise, the final set, the final rep of our 12-week dumbbell program. That means we're finished. We hope you enjoyed it. We had a hell of a lot of fun. Honestly, this feels about the right time to quit because we enjoyed it, but it's always nice to be able to move on to a new chapter. So that concludes the dumbbell plan. We're gonna be moving on to the rest of our superhero plan using a little bit more of a traditional system, barbells, dumbbells, a lot of high intensity, all that good stuff. So we'll see you then. We hope you enjoyed this series and until next time. You shape up. Oh, yeah.